Winter makes us vulnerable to infections and illness, which can lead to frequent doses of remedies and antibiotics without complete success. As a leading proponent of integrative medicine in South Africa, Dr. Leila Sedin favors a more natural approach, with the patient and practitioner forming a partnership. Karishma met Dr. Sedin to get the latest on winter health and beauty, including the importance of correct nutrition. Winter has a pared down beauty of its own, but the combination of lower temperatures and dry air can cause stress to the skin and the system as a whole. Karishma left the bustle of the city in her quest for winter wellness. As the season changes, so do our bodies. A great importance is placed on seasonal wellness within integrated medicine. Today, we get to speak to an expert on that topic, Dr. Leila Sedi. Leila, welcome back to Mela. Thank you so much, Karishma. Leila, why is it so important to start thinking about seasonal wellness? Just as nature goes through cycles, so do we. For example, we get into summer and everyone's raving, ready to go, we want to exercise, we want to do it, we want to start new businesses. And in winter, we go into quiet and hibernation and stillness and we want to kind of like fill our body with food and just quietly snuggle up. And what are some simple tips to start channeling that mindset? When you're aware of what everybody and everything is doing around you, you start to sensitively feel when your body's out of tune. And so one of the really great things is meditation. When you quiet the busy mind and you allow the intuition to surface, you can start to become sensitive to what you need and what kind of foods are good for you, what kind of exercise your body needs in that moment. Speaking of food, I can see we've got a beautiful spread in front of us. Why is it so important to start nourishing from the inside out? It's one of the best places to start nourishing. Everything that you eat gives messages to the immune system about how it should go about attacking things. Leila, can you take me through what we have on the table today? Sure. We've tried to keep it vegetarian, keeping in theme, of course, with detoxing. So this is a beautiful array of roast vegetables. And to keep the protein content, we've added lots of superfoods and some seeds and hemp seeds. And of course, we've used really good oils in roasting it. So coconut oils are really awesome and olive oil as well. And then we've brought you a lovely kale and broccoli, green soup. And then lots of warming additives like chili, cayenne pepper, and then some coriander as well. Thank you. Mm, smells incredible. What comes to mind when you specifically think about winter wellness? Winter specifically is not known as the best time to detox because your body is going into storage and hibernation. And we don't get that heat that usually allows the skin to release so many toxins. And so when I think of detoxing in winter, it's always very gentle and warming. And so the ozone machine is one of the great ways that we do that. I'd love to experience that. Should we finish up here and get going? Absolutely. Having savored a last spoonful of soup, Karishma made her way to the therapy facility where she settled into a pod that wouldn't look out of place in a futuristic movie. So Leila, what exactly is ozone therapy? What am I going to be experiencing right now? The big thing about ozone is that it's like a super powerful oxygen. It's three O molecules together. And ozone loves to deliver that little extra O into the system where it really mops up and binds to those horrible toxins and free radicals in your body. It increases the amount of oxygen in your system. It's incredible for reducing inflammation in your body. When you're trying to treat patients with cancer, for example, or hectic illnesses, we can even use ozone intravenously. So it's really amazing. There you go. And I'm just adjusting this so that you can get a nice flow of extra added medical grade oxygen. I'm building up quite a sweat actually. Remember we release toxins through our skin. So what ozone does is it allows you actually to release those toxins through your skin, which is amazing. There are many ways to detox. So besides ozone, what would you suggest for winter? Vitamin drips are a great way to detox in winter. Now vitamin drips are a great way for a boost, but how can we ensure that we're maintaining our immune system all year round? Eating really well, making sure you're getting the good nutrition in that actually supports immunity, making sure you've got lots of vitamin C's, for example, lots of antioxidants and superfoods, and then maintaining the wellness of the roots of your tree. So exercise, going for a run in winter, and then so important is managing your stress. Maintaining your stress, being aware when you're stressing too much, being inside and being cooped up can get incredibly claustrophobic. You've got to be aware of it and know that there are things you can do if you are stressing too much. 
Okay, so I think I've been in here for about uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> let's get you out. Time to let, let me free. <laughs> let me just take this off here. Liberating. Go get freshened up, Krishna. I'll see you outside. While Karishma took a quick shower, Layla prepared the intravenous vitamin drip. Layla, you know I love my vitamin drips, but what have you put in the drip today? Well, I've put a lot of immune boosting vitamin C in it for you. We've also added some glutathione. So you'll get a good antioxidant detox, but not too much because it is winter. We don't want to push your body too hard. And then of course some vitamin Bs which is really great for energy, and I think you need that too. So our surprise this afternoon for you is you're gonna have a lovely foot massage while you're having your drop. Could I love you any more? <laughs> Come Tamara. Hello. Hi. I'm Tamara. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna do a foot massage. Now. Lovely. Massage forms part of Layla's integrated approach to wellness. And apart from relieving stress, it's also said to help reduce the effects of depression and anxiety as well as improving circulation. How are you guys doing? So well, thank you. Lena, you know, another big concern for me during winter is dry and dull skin. It's such a big problem in winter. A lot of my patients have really oily skin in summer, and then as it comes into winter, their skin gets so dry, their body skin as well as their face. And we have quite a few treatments that we give them just to help hydrate them for winter. And of course, we urge them all to drink lots of water and have some good oils like omega-3s. You're so knowledgeable about skin. And even though you practice mainly integrated medicine, you also do a lot of aesthetic procedures. How does that tie in? For me, aesthetics is so important. It's been part of things like Ayurveda for centuries and how the person perceives themselves when they look in the mirror is so important to their own wellness. So what procedures would you then suggest for winter? Fundamentally, when we're talking about hydration in the skin, we're talking about the lack of hyaluronic acid. So when we're talking about doing a treatment for severely dehydrated skin, then there are treatments that inject Hyaluol, which is a natural product, into the skin, stimulating collagen and allowing the skin to kind of draw water into that area. And it hydrates for months at a time. So I actually really want you to come and experience this treatment. I will gladly put my face in your very capable hands. Feeling totally relaxed after her foot massage, Karishma lay back while Layla prepared her face for the treatment. By applying a mild local anesthetic to the skin, she could ensure that the actual injections would cause no discomfort. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be, Layla. <laughs> okay, let's just clean this off. If I scream, will you stop? <laughs> That's a no-brainer. <laughs> Layla, what are the long-lasting effects of this treatment? You'll find that initially you'll experience a little bit of glow and plumping and later you'll actually find that your skin's tightened and pulled up, which is really incredible. How many treatments would you suggest, or a course of treatments perhaps? Yeah, ideally one should do sort of three quite soon after each other, but you can spread them out a few months at a time. It's also going to be really great for your pores and to make these slightly oh. large pores smaller. Karishma, hold your breath please and close your eyes. I'm just spraying some more of the product onto your skin. So it stimulates the whole treatment and you will use this product for the next two weeks as your moisturizer every day. There you go, beautiful woman. You're all done. Lela, thank you so much for this absolutely incredible day that really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I know I know that it looks like winter's won the war right now, but in a few days' time, I'm going to be fighting off the winter blues like a champ. <laughs>